Okay, so we're in InDesign. Let's get this thing the right size. I want to talk about, again, some typographical um, tidbits that you probably need to know. Again, I've, I've set up a box here. I put a couple, of, a few different columns in it and just paste it in. If you uh, click in the box and then right click, you can fill with placeholder text and that gives you your lorem ipsum, which is what I'm using right here. So um, first of all, I want to talk about just longer layouts like this. And one of the things that concerns us in typography, especially when we have lots of type like this, is the line length. And you can see, you know, it's it's a good thing to have nice ragged edges at the end of your type. Um, certain things that we don't want to see, though, um, long hyphenated words, it really breaks it up. And, and really, when we're talking about typography, some of the key concerns are readability. Um, so this makes it hard to read when we've got words splitting, and it just doesn't look nice. You know, this long word extending all the way to the end of this column, and then there's um, there's the uh, the hyphen there. That's not something that we generally want to see. It, it doesn't look nice. Uh, other things that we don't like are orphans. And an orphan is when your par paragraph ends like this, and it ends with one word being left on a line by, by itself. Um, the counterpart to that is a widow. And uh, that would be something we see right here. It's actually more than one word, but it still is, you know, it's less than half the line filled. And what that is, is the end of this paragraph, but it's starting at the top here. It's it's kind of preceding another paragraph, and it looks funny because, you know, like I said, it's short. So those are called widows. Orphans, again, are when you have the one word line at the end of the paragraph. Um, so these are the types of things that we want to try and get rid of, the hyphenated words, the, the widows, and the orphans. Uh, how do we do that? We add